Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Barbecue Brisket Pizza. Well today we're cooking up a really simple but really tasty barbecue brisket pizza. We're gonna have a cream cheese and barbecue sauce base, a couple different cheeses in there, some caramelized onions, and of course, some smoked brisket. Now the brisket, this is a great utilization for leftover brisket. And I know a lot of you don't know what leftover brisket is, so for that reason, we're also gonna cook up a brisket flat just real quick at the beginning of this just for this video. In fact, I've got it on the smoker now, so first thing we do, let's just go check on that brisket. Today we're gonna be cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS1500S pellet grill, and we do have the wood-fired oven installed in the grill right now. But overnight, we've been smoking a brisket all night long, and that's the great thing about cooking pizzas on the 1500 is you can leave that oven installed, still use your second shelf and run it just like a regular smoker. So this has been going for a good like nine hours now. We've got a great bark on our flat here. I'm just using the flat today for slices, but looks really nice. Internal temperature is about 170, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it now. Into the foil wrap, you're gonna throw just a little bit of tallow and a little bit of beef stock. This is a leaner piece of meat, so adding a little fat and liquid should help it contain some of its juices as well as full foil wrap that's gonna help keep, keep it juicier than you know paper or foil boat. Just stick a probe in it, aiming for about 203, 205 to finish. All right, so we're temping up around 205 now. Let's check this out, see how tender it is. Oh yeah, that's nice. Not much resistance going on. So I'm gonna pull this off and let it chill down for the pizza. While we're at it, we're gonna turn the grill temp up to 400 also want to go ahead and open up this baffle that's been closed. So this has been closed for smoking. Now we're going to open it up to let that flame come lip over the top of this wood-fired oven. And we're going to cook some caramelized onions here. For these caramelized onions, we're just going to take some sweet onions and slice them real thin. We want about four cups of these onions. We're gonna start with two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Throw down all of our onions here. Also give just about a tablespoon of avocado oil and a little bit of seasoning. I'm gonna hit this with the bovine bowl, the same rub that I used uh, on our brisket. Probably want about two teaspoons in here. So we can kind of just slide these in here and let them cook down with out much interruption, we'll stir every once in a while. All right, this brisket's chilled down. We're gonna get some slices out of it to go onto our pizza. It doesn't matter if you're gonna do sliced or chopped or however, it's mostly for presentation's sake, how you process the brisket right now. But of course, this is a utilization of leftover brisket video uh, for the most part, so yours may already be chopped up, might be shredded. Either way, it's gonna work. So now we're gonna to put together the base for this pizza, uh, and that starts with eight ounces of cream cheese. You don't want it rock hard cold, like a little bit warmed up is nice, easier to work with. And you're gonna add a quarter cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. We're using the fire bug today. And then just a couple of tablespoons of our Fatali mustard sauce here. Give it a little bit of tang. Give that a good mix until it all comes together. It's homogenous, mixed up really nicely. All right, so let's leave this at room temperature so that it's easy to spread when we get to our pizza. Now I whipped up a batch of pizza dough earlier, which if you guys wanna go watch our video on that, you should go check it out. I'll put it in the video description. But it's real simple, four ingredients. Uh, this one's gonna yield two pizzas here. You get three out of this, but we're gonna make them a little bit fluffy today. So let's see, let's make sure we got our weights right. 811, so we're looking at about 405. We're at 411, that's close enough. So these, I'm just gonna kinda work folding the dough inside of itself until we get a nice smooth surface on top. Roll it into a ball here and pinch that seam shut. And then we're gonna put this into an oiled pan and throw it into the fridge for half an hour before we roll it out. You can see our onions have cooked way down now. A great dark color on them. We're ready to pull these out. All right, let's put together a pizza. 
push some of those air bubbles out. Form a little crust around the edge here. And it's just kind of stretching under its own weight. I don't want to do a gentle pull over the knuckles. We got one nice, consistent, thin consistency all the way across. Now we're going to build it right on the peel. We'll hit that with a little bit of a semolina. Now we're going to start with our barbecue cream cheese base layer. Then we're going to do some low moisture mozzarella. Put down some brisket slices. got caramelized onions. And then we're going to top it off with some sharp white cheddar. All right, back into the oven now. We've got the grill set at 450 degrees now. I'm going to give this about two minutes with the door closed and then we'll take a peek. So here's about two minutes, guys. Not getting a ton of color on it let, yet, but you can see where the color we did get was kind of coming from the back. So we're just gonna keep spinning this so it browns evenly the entire cook. Another minute or so. Now we're getting some nice color. Ooh, and some nice browning on top. Not quite four minutes into this cook. Oh yeah, now we're really getting that color going. Really don't need much more to it. Let's check the bottom. Oh, it looks great. Let's pull it. So this is already looking great, but we're gonna finish it off with a little crumble of feta cheese. I've also done blue cheese on this pizza. Pretty good if you're a blue cheese fan. And then to top it all off, a little bit more barbecue sauce. All right, let's slice into it and get a taste. There we go. How's the bottom look? Pretty nice. Mmm. The creamy barbecue sauce base is really nice. Brisket's super tender. Had just enough time to get hot back there on top of the pizza while the pizza was cooking. Mmm. Love all this sweetness that's going on. You know, you got the caramelized onion, you got your barbecue sauce, and then you got the saltiness from the brisket itself. And honestly, that feta added at the end is a really nice tangy bite, tangy addition. Offers another, another level, level of flavor to the whole pizza. Mmm. That dough is nice and squishy, but it's got great crispiness on the outside. That's a nice piece of it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue or barbecue legends are made.